Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kitty Mary and today we are going on a trip. Actually not today, I'm filming this intro after I got home, but I digress, everything is added in post and everything you see online is fake. This video is gonna be a travel vlog and of course, this video is sponsored. Da, 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 da. This video is sponsored by My Helsinki. They provided me with the trip to Helsinki both times, actually. If you want to check the first travel vlog that we did, I will link it down below. They've arranged everything from the activities to the eating experiences, everything included in this video, which I am so grateful for. Seriously, one of the most cool and amazing parts of this job will be to experience things like this. So. I am just so excited to get going. However, there is a little bit of a disclaimer. I actually flew to Helsinki, which I know for a fact isn't perfect, but I looked at the emissions from a one and a half hour flight from Copenhagen to Helsinki, which is direct, and a 17 hour ferry ride. The ferry ride will have a larger impact. So I've tried to be conscious in the way that it's possible in this sort of situation. If you want to know more about my stance on flying, etc., how I'm minimizing what we're doing and where we are in that process, I have a whole video about that. I'll also leave that down below. Anyway, I just wanted to be transparent with you guys so you have all the information and enjoy the video. We just arrived in Helsinki, we being me and Jens, and we just checked into our apartment hotel. It's called Koti, which I now have learned means home in Finnish. And we're gonna stay here, it's Wednesday today, and we're gonna stay in Helsinki until Sunday, but we'll stay in this apartment until Friday. We got a tour of the entire building. It's not actually open yet. So we're the very first people to stay here, and they've done so many things to be more sustainable. So let me just give you a quick tour. We got some totes here. So I was just told that this deer waste container is made from vegetable and fruit scraps from a local smoothie place. Also, we have a bidet. Yes. The hotel is also powered via solar panels, some of the best ones in Finland. Overall, this is really exciting and the entire building is an old storage facility marketplace that used to be used for groceries, etc. But now house cafes and grocery stores and restaurants and apartment hotels. We have this entire apartment now and our luggage has gone missing. That's definitely what I get for flying. Yeah. Never fly. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This would never have happened on a train. So right down there is a vegan bakery and we have a little gift voucher to go down there and get cakes. We actually also went there last time, now I have to stop filming this woman. As a welcoming gift, they actually brought us two cakes from Pala, the vegan bakery, and I am so excited to eat these. I actually think I got that one the last time, so I really wanna try this one, and it's so gorgeous. The hospitality here is out of this world. Also, we have to go and do some grocery shopping because we want to cook breakfast in the apartment hotel. We have a full kitchen with every utensil we need. So we're definitely gonna cook something. We also got this tea that I am super excited to use. Okay, let's do this. Let's try it. Okay. It's gorgeous. Mm. Love the flowers. Love edible flowers. Now we'll go find a thrift store. So we have some extra clothing. To the thrift store! There's so many thrift stores in Helsinki and luckily we found this one pretty quickly in a shopping center. Don't mind us, we're just stopping for a second to admire the Finnish architecture. I love how beautiful the city is. Anyway, we found one thrift shop. I got a couple of things. We do need to get some more things. Otherwise, we end up, we're gonna have a spa night later tonight. That's gonna be really awkward. Yes. So we need to find a couple of more things, but it works out. It's gonna be great. And uh, the weather is amazing. It's, Are you with me, Jens? It's so much better than last time we were here. Beautiful, and I cannot wait to explore the rest of the city this week. Oh, also, check out this building. Isn't she gorgeous? She's pink. She looks like a cake. I love her. I was trying to see if I could find any secondhand shoes that could replace these just a little bit because they are, they are hurting my feet just a tiny bit now, but we didn't find any. We have something for the sauna, and then I have another shirt to change into. Both vintage items, yay. Then we went to a grocery store to get things for breakfast. I love grocery shops when I'm traveling. Let me know down below if you have the same fascination with other countries' everyday shops. This is my happy dance every time I see package-free broccoli. 
So we went by a local grocery store and got a couple of things, mostly for breakfast and some things also for tonight. These uh, vodka drinks we got for tonight. Then we got a vegan Prosecco, some baguette, a little bit of some uh, herbs and garlic pate. Yeah, this is vegan as well. We got butter, we got some yogurt. I tried to go for low waste options, but there wasn't a lot to pick from. But we also got some vegetables, which was really amazing. Excited about my morning broccoli tomorrow. And uh, that's what we got at the grocery store. Later that night, we had dinner at a great bistro where I had a crispy tofu bowl and Jens had the Beyond Burger. And we both had plenty of drinks. It was so good, especially after a long day of walking around. Right outside the restaurant, there was this sculpture facing the Department of Defense. I thought it was so powerful. And uh, we ended our night with spa. It is the next day and we still haven't heard anything about the luggage. But yesterday night, we went out with one of the people from Helsinki Marketing and she brought us some sweatshirts to wear, um, which is great. I do need bottoms though. So we'll have to find a thrift store again today and see if we can continue the sort of the growth of this outfit that I am now making out of necessity. And we'll need to find some shoes, which is proving to be a little bit more difficult because like shoes in thrift stores and shoes in vintage shops, it's, it's a little bit more difficult, but we're gonna try because I only have heels and um, we're going on a walking tour today, so that's gonna be great. Also, these sweatshirts are actually from Pure Waste, and I visited them the last time I was here. I have sweatpants from Pure Waste at home, which is really cool. Hopefully, our luggage will turn up, because the new red dress that I got in Copenhagen last week is in the suitcase. And if I'm gonna lose that dress now that I finally got it, the universe is not that cruel. It's pretty cruel. It's not that cruel. First thing for the day, we stopped by Lovia. This Finnish brand uses secondhand reclaimed and dead stock material to make beautiful bags and totes. They also publish impact reports and overview of their products, entire emissions and supply chain, which I think is amazing to see. They invited me to design my own bag together with them, which was such a fun process and I cannot wait to use it. We're gonna continue our search for thrifted clothes in Relove. I love this shop. It's also a little cafe. It's our third thrift store today. This is Fida and they have so many vintage clothes, ball gown. Every time I want to try and find something that's practical, I end up going for ball gown. Then we walked by the library, this beautiful community space to an historic old building where we had lunch at a cafe created by three generations of women. I want some kind of pink one. Mm. A little? Or bigger? Uh, I have... Yeah! Yeah, I think that could be my... They make traditional dishes like these pastries and Karelian pies, and the cafe was 100% plant-based. The seaweed caviar on top? Mm. Mm. We went to the library to relax. I have a little bit of work to do, some editing, some stories, some Instagram, uh, and now we're just relaxing and sitting down. But I found some new comfortable shoes in a secondhand store, so uh, I am pain free. Next up, we took the tram and a ferry to the nearby island of Suomalina, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and incredibly beautiful. It is also home to 800 people that live and work here. The buildings are full of history and restored and maintained so they can be used as office buildings, as homes and shops, all with respect for their history. Then we sailed to the smaller island of Lona, where we had a beautiful three-course vegan meal and an amazing and authentic sauna experience right before heading back. I'm on the floor. It is day three and look what arrived yesterday evening. I was so happy because I was a little scared for a moment because I have vintage dresses in that thing and uh, you can't really replace those. So I got, I got pretty scared, but we're back on track. We didn't have a lot of energy yesterday. I'm so happy that we went through with all the planning, the entire schedule, because everything was so interesting and cool. And I will do some voiceover that you at this point have already heard. We were a little bit stressed out yesterday, but today I have a different set of clothes. I got to put on my makeup and it felt Really, really, really good. But we're checking out of the hotel. Firstly, we're going to a vegan bakery to get some breakfast, and then we're checking out of the hotel to go to an off-grid cottage that I am so excited to experience. It's right down the street, a vegan bakery, 20 meters from here. 
That's the dream though. Oh, could you see me? No. <laughs> no. Was I just sitting there? <laughs> just sitting I'm also there, like... here. Hmm. Jens is still here. I arrived yesterday as well. <laughs> what? This is the vegan bakery Paula. Shout out to their amazing cakes. Our breakfast was a cupcake with chocolate, a cinnamon roll, and a bun with hummus and sun-dried tomatoes with sides of lemonade. It was so good. We also got actual breakfast, but I wanted one of the uh, chocolate cupcakes that we got on the first day as well. Here's the view of our hotel building. So now we have a little bit of a change in the scenery. Are you with us, babe? I'm with us. Oh, that's good. So we have to walk to the cottage. Mm. It's really nice and silent. Oh, yeah, only the birds. <laughs> oh, the birds and Jens with the suitcase. <laughs> This was the view I was waiting for the most. Walking on these cliffs in this beautiful weather honestly felt like coming home a little bit. I don't know how to explain it. In the very distance, you can also see the Helsinki skyline with all the landmarks, which I think is pretty cool. We arrived at the cottage and I want to give you guys a tour of this off-grid cottage and where it is located specifically. So this is the front door and the view. We turn around, we turn around and this is sort of like a living space. We have a couch here, a table, and this is the view. There's also a little terrace outside, so we can sit out here and look at the ocean. In there, there is a shower. In here, we have a kitchen, tiny kitchen, and in here, we have a composting toilet. And the bedroom is upstairs, so we'll go. A window and a bed. How are you feeling, honey? This is amazing. This place is called Maya Maya. Maya meaning cottage in Finnish. So we'll be headed to Flow Festival in roughly an hour and a half, which makes it just enough time to go swimming in the ocean because the ocean is literally right there. Right there. Okay, let's go. So right next to the sea, we are having this private vegan lunch before we're going to this festival. And it looks and smells so good. We have smoked tofu, vegetables, um, and a vegan feta salad. This is a completely different place from living in the city center and I love this contrast. Look how cute! Then we got ready for Flow Festival and we went down to our little private pier where a boat picked us up and sailed us to the venue, which was so amazing. Also very nostalgic for me because my dad and I used to sail a little boat like this around, so I just had the best time. Then we arrived at Flow, a festival with some amazing stellar sustainability initiatives, including renewable energy, natural conservation and sustainable food. The first thing we got was this savory churro with vegan caviar. It was so good, but a little bit of a mess to eat. Flo also had an amazing deposit system for cans and bottles, so none were left and wasted, which I think was great to see. It reminded me of our return system in Denmark. Other than the music, we also checked out the art exhibit, which I enjoyed just as much because your girl is an art girl. Then we had a sourdough pea day, and right after that, we had dumplings with tofu and masala, which was definitely my favorite. Give me a dumpling, and then I'll be happy. Like, look at this little happy dance. It's not just the beer, it's also just pure food appreciation. You look nice. You look nice. Hello, so we're back at the cottage. It is such a weird contrast because we just came from the city center of Helsinki. It's 20 minutes away. Big concert, we saw the gorillas, it was amazing. It was so nice, the food was so incredible. That was my favorite part of it, just overall, the food. Mm. But then we walked through the woods and got to our off-grid cottage and it is completely silent. That's really nice. We are gonna go to bed and tomorrow it is another day in Finland. Good morning from the cottage. Today it's completely still. You can hear a boat out there, but that's it. And I'm here with my little water bottle having some morning water as well as just washing my face with it before we're headed back to Helsinki for more festival today. This is heaven. Okay, so I just took my food and I went outside so I could really thoroughly enjoy the view. Then we took the bus to the outside of Helsinki to go on a walk on what is an old landfill converted into a natural hiking trail. 
Here we have Gide walking the trail in a red dress, of course she is. Why wouldn't she be? This is how we know her, this is how we love her. Sort of like an homage to the first Helsinki video we did, but uh, we had wild blueberries in Nuxio National Forest. Now we're in another forest just outside of Helsinki, having blueberries again. We'll find trash and we'll pick up trash anywhere. Anywhere! So we've learned two great concepts while staying in Finland this time. In Denmark we have Hygge. I just made a video about Hygge um, as well. But in Finland they have another concept that's sort of related to it, but that directly translates into getting drunk by yourself in your underpants at home. <laughs> I love that. It and sounds delicious. Like, it sounds like a great time, honestly. And the other sort of concept that we learned about from the Finns here was that there is a, a word that I don't know the Finnish word for either, but it's translated into soul landscape, which sort of means that it's the type of landscape that really calms you down or where you find your center or sort of your favorite scenery and the way where you feel like the sort of landscape that makes you feel calm and at home and happy. And my soul landscape is definitely the landscape close to Maya Maya, a place where you can see the ocean, where you can see cliffs, where you can see some water. If there's water, it's my soul landscape. What's your soul landscape? I think it's got to be like some sort of like deep forest. We were out trekking in the forest. Uh yesterday and that really calms me down and you really sort of yeah you really i really feel feel safe around all the trees uh, i think it says a lot about our personalities that mine is like the sea water and the ocean and yours is like stoic trees <laughs> forest um i think you could you you could interpret that in a in a, in a few possible in a number of ways yes <laughs> anyway we're leaving today we're gonna go back to the city center and have lunch and then we're gonna leave. I kind of want to live here forever though. On these cliffs. It's really nice. Cliffs. We don't have cliffs in Denmark so this is just... I love them. I walk on these and I just walk around touching them. By the way, I haven't turned on my laptop a single time while being here. Not even once. Thank you so much for watching this video and also a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys help me create green zero waste contents and I love you guys. You can find the links to my social media accounts down below and the link to my Patreon on this screen. Bye!